I'm back. <laughs> um, obviously, you know, I have been uh, MIA for a while because I am 37 weeks pregnant. Yay. And so um, I wasn't great at tracking, you know, everything on my YouTube channel. And so I wanted to make sure that uh, they kind of enjoy it. And so that's why I didn't choose to document this pregnancy. But I thought I'd show you since I'm on the last leg of what kind of um, hospital bag I prepared. And maybe this will kind of help you uh, to you know, give you ideas on how to pack for your uh, delivery date as well. So stay tuned. Okay, so I'm just going to start off with a pillow. Um, I've been told that the hospital beds, their pillows are not comfortable. And so you want to bring an extra pillow for comfort. I was kind of hesitant about bringing it, but then I realized, you know what? I do like com com be comfortable. And so then I'm bringing a pillow that I know that I can toss if it gets dirty. Okay. Um, next, um, we have here a uh, makeup bag. And um, in, in here, I just have uh, like just really small makeup items. So when I want to take pictures on social media um, or for memories, then I look awake and not like a monster. Brought myself a hair hairband to, you know, to do my makeup. I brought myself an eye mask because I guess throughout the night, you're going to be bothered by nurses and they're going to check your vitals, and check your blood, and, you know, you don't want to be bothered. They're going to be turning on the lights sometimes. And so a sleeping mask will help kind of keep you asleep as much as possible. Um, I do wear contact lenses and glasses, so then therefore I brought uh, just a uh, contact lens case and uh, contact solution. I also brought my glasses in case something goes down and I lose my contact lenses. So that's what I have here. Um, obviously I have a compact mirror that I bring in because they're not gonna have portable mirrors for my makeup. Okay, check, just wanna make sure I look good. Um, eye drops, um, obviously makeup for eyebrows. You gotta kinda look good for the eyebrows. Um, eyelash blush powder brush and blush um concealer so i look awake and then you know in terms of skin care i just brought small little items which is a lip sleeping mask and then uh my a traveling toner and moisturizer lineage toner and tiny Oste lauder uh, moisturizer it's um a night cream one but it's okay. I mean, I hope that I don't have to stay at the hospital for too long. So I'm just going to use it as a day cream anyways. So this is what is in my items. My makeup bag. Here. Okay. So I look awake in my in the hospital gown all right okay um i also was told that i didn't you know by family friends girlfriends um and research on youtube to bring uh, slippers comfortable slippers to keep your feet warm uh again hospital this hospital rooms can get cold at times and uh, Given that I am having my baby on October 3rd, um, the baby's going to be a fall baby. I want to be a little warm on my feet. So, you know, it's really warm, but it's not too thick. And then on the bottom, it has kind of grip so I don't slip. You know, that's no good. So I bought these at Walmart. It was like, honestly, I think five bucks. Okay. Next, I was hesitant if I wanted to get one, but I guess I ended up getting one. So I got myself a black robe. Uh, robe, so, you know, when I get um, 
in and out of the bed. I can just like kind of wear it comfortably, wear it comfortably and, and uh, like it's an easy way. Oops. Yep. Just wearing it comfortably and um, so I don't have to keep changing clothes and stuff. And so um, it'll, it just covers me up. Uh, yeah, they say that a robe like this would help you in and out, going to the bathroom and coming back. So, I brought myself a robe to help. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, next, I was hesitant if I needed to bring a, this type of bra or not, but I might as well, since I already have one, I thought I'd bring one. So, this is my nursing bra. So this is a nursing bra, okay, and it has like this clip thing where you could just like unclip it. I do plan to try to breastfeed, um, and so this would kind of be a good start, okay. Um, and then I brought a going, leaving the hospital dress, okay, something that's Easy to wear, easy to wear. It has a little slip, you know. I'm gonna be having my baby vaginally, so I've been told that wearing a dress, you know, a long dress will help. Will be better, you know, and not so tight on my lower, lower body. Okay. But in case, yeah, and so then um, I just have my shirt here shirts just in case I stay longer at the uh, hospital which I don't anticipate to okay um I also brought my like long sleeve pajamas um and if I do end up nursing you know it's easy buttons I could just unbutton here unbutton here and I will just be ready to Feed my baby. Okay. Uh, in case, you know, I it gets really cold out there and I end up not wearing the dress for whatever reason. I did bring sweatpants just in case I it's easier. Okay. So I have sweatpants here. Okay. And then just a long sleeve shirt. One of my favorite shirts. Wifey. Yeah. My sister got this for me. I forgot. What was it? Shoot. I don't know if it was like a birthday gift or something. But yeah. Um, so I just brought some extra clothes in case um, something doesn't work out with me. Um, for me. Um, and just an extra sports bra too. So I don't, I didn't bring too many clothes, you know, cause I don't want to overpack, but I did bring just some options, uh, some clothes so I can have some options. Okay. All right. So now that we got through my clothes, I am going to show you now that I got through my clothes, um, I still have the baby clothes items that I'll show you. Okay. Um, but before that, I do want to show you the bathroom, bathroom toiletries that I have. Okay. That I'm bringing with me that I've been told that it's good to bring. Okay. So yeah, like, um, what's cool about this carry on that, um, it was gifted to me. Um, is that, uh, I don't know. When it was gifted to me, you know, I, I was also given, like, these really, like, cute little sports organizational bags. So, when you're looking for a carry-on bag to go to the hospital, uh, if, if it doesn't include these little box, little um, bag organizers, I encourage you to buy them. I mean, look. I mean, I love these. These are great organizers. Okay. I believe I was told that, that you can get these at like TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Okay. 
So in this little baggie, this is my bathroom toiletries. Okay. So in my bathroom toiletries. Okay. Yeah, so like I said, uh, I did still include my uh, contact lenses in here. Um, I also brought some Q-tips. And then here, I bought this bag with the little empty containers. Uh, with, uh, uh, I bought them at Walgreens. Here you can see this is my conditioner. And then uh, this here is my shampoo. And then this is a facial cleanser. And then my toothpaste, my toothbrush. Yeah. All right. And then this is my hair towel. I like to use this hair towel uh, to dry my hair because it's not so heavy on my head. Okay. And then, uh, I just brought myself like a regular towel for my face. Okay. So it's more gentle on my face here. Okay. So... Close this. Oh yeah, and the comb. Comb. My hair is growing and it's getting longer, so I definitely need a comb to kind of keep my hair not as uh, keep it from being so nappy. An extra hair tie in case I lose the one I have on my head when delivery date comes. Mm -hmm. All right, next is the baby stuff. Um, the reason why you wanna, the reason why you want to uh, bring a carry on is because you, it is. I, I and I believe that I think that packing for you and your baby is better in one bag than in separate bags. So a carry on bag would just be easier, especially with the rollies, you know. That it rolls in an hour. Okay, so next is um, what baby's gonna be wearing. Um, this little snuggle thingy is gonna be what baby's gonna be wearing when we're leaving out the hospital because baby's gonna be a small baby, so it's gonna be kind of chilly. Um, the snuggle thing is so cute. This is how you like open it and you put it, and then like I'd put it like my baby girl, like my baby girl, flat on it, but ah. Uh, I'm excited to fold her up in there. Uh, all right. So this is to keep her warm. Okay. And then here, I'm not going to show you the name yet. You'll find out the name when uh, she comes out. But this is kind of the wood thing. Yeah, I'm just going to show you this, okay? Because I'm not, I don't want to show you the name yet. But the name is like... Uh, um, and engraved on this side but you know have you seen those like pictures with those newborns and like you know you put them you put their head next to the woodstock and then there's the name well yes I bought one online when I saw it on fa on Facebook so uh, I am excited you'll get to see the photo once it comes but it came it comes with the outfit so this is the outfit that I bought for her I don't want to show you the name yet you get to know the name when she finally comes out. Okay. But this is the outfit that goes with the the uh the baby girl. Oh. Yes, that I bought. So I'm super excited to have her wear it. So we can get pictures of her. And then just uh depending on yeah, hopefully baby girl doesn't have to stay too long in the hospital. But yeah, I just got her some little, like, newborn outfits uh, and long sleeves here. Um, I've been told that, like, this type of baby um, outfit where there's a zipper, where there's a zipper all the way down, it's actually really good for newborns, too. So it'll, so if you need to do a diaper change, you just have to zip just have to unbutton this 
and then zip this all the way down and then just change baby's diaper and then bam you can zip it back up easy i only have one of these that i'm bringing with me to the hospital but yeah just thought i'd show this to you okay and then uh, I brought me just like a swaddle, like what, what are these, like cloths, swaddle cloth, and then a blanket. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. These are like such pretty blankets, right? Yeah, just, just cover her up in. <sighs> so, yeah, I mean, I did a lot of research on YouTube. I did. Yeah, I wanted to check to make sure like. What is necessary to bring to the hospital and, and what is just kind of excessive. And so this is kind of what the research that I found so far. This is the minimum stuff that I think is needed um, for, for when you're, for, for your baby, uh, for baby outfits and preparing a baby. Um, of course... You know, yes, so this is the minimum, but yeah, yes, I am super excited to dress her up in these outfits the most. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oops, don't want to forget the swaddle. One last thing I wanted to add on is that um, I p what what's oh, add on is socks. Um, oh, from what I've been researching, obviously you want socks because it can get pretty cold over there. Of course, depending on what season your baby comes, you know, it could be really hot or really cold. In my uh, situation, since I'm having a fall baby, it will be chilly. So then I am bringing um, uh, compression socks along with fuzzy socks. Uh, I've been swelling lately. So basically what I have been having is called pitting, pitting edema. And so it's swelling of the legs. And therefore, uh, compression socks will be really helpful for me during the hospital and obviously fuzzy socks to keep me warm and I'll just use these interchangeably when that when that time comes okay so I just put it up here so it's easy to um it's easy to grab all right okay so this is my carry-on and I'm going to close it now to be ready for my baby to come all right okay and again just to reiterate that uh, a carry-on bag with the rollies will be most helpful when it's time to go uh, because you know you don't have to drag a suitcase like this uh, if you have any other uh, questions or suggestions and recommendations on how to um, pack for the hospital feel free to comment below 
and uh, let me know what other things that I may be missing or uh, and whatnot. Other than that, uh, thank you for checking out my channel. I know I've been missing in action for some time, but I'm glad that you are sticking around with me. And I promise you I will get back on board after Baby Girl comes out. And I will have way more uh, content and that's going to be fun and exciting uh, for you. So again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And comment below so I know that you've made your mark here. And uh, don't forget to uh, click on the notification bell so you don't miss a video at all. Other than that, thank you again for watching and I'll catch you on till next time. Bye-bye.